Oh, my YouTubians, how you doing? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, so you want to be a paranormal investigator. Number 23. Huh? It has come to my attention, and at first I thought this was kind of funny. I'm sorry, but to me it was funny. It's come to my attention that most of my paranormal family does not know how to make healing bikes for friends. That was one of the first things I learned way back when. 49 and a half years ago, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, you can make uh, a healing circle in your house, okay? Um, so if you've got a friend what's sick or, you know, going through some hard times or whatever, you can make them a spirit bag, basically, but it's it's for healing. It's a, and um, uh, what you do is you, you put the stuff in the... I'll show you as we do one. Because I have a friend um, who I'm not going to mention, okay? Uh, but I have a friend right now who needs a little pick-me-up, a little boost and everything else. So I'm making this spirit bike for my friend uh, along with, you know, a few other ones that I have kicking around here, you know, because I do that um, to help people heal, okay? So I'm going to show you how. And if you have a friend that you want to, to help, you can do this. You know, uh, it's a good way to do it. Of course, it's all about your faith. It's what you believe. So don't do not do something about, if you don't believe something, don't add it to the bike because now you just ruined it, right? You got to put what you feel, what you believe, you know. Uh, and you're asking help from the people you believe in, like God or Jesus or the elements or whatever you want to, whatever you believe in. So, you want to start with a paper bike, okay? After everything's in it, what you're going to do is you're going to write the name on the bike, and then you're going to fold it this way, up real and nice and tight, but you're not going to seal it, okay, you're just going to fold it, and put a crease in there, and you're going to write their name on here, just their first name, okay, then every day when you go by it, you stop and you say your prayer or whatever, your prayer of thanks for helping the person to heal, and every day you can always add something extra every day you know another spice or another you know something that comes in your dream or something in your head that if you add this it's gonna help whatever you know might be a vitamin capsule toss it in there whatever um, anyway you do that until they feel better and, uh, and then uh, the spirits they want to help they're gonna help right and what it also does draws your attention to it so when you go by you, you keep that person in mind and then you say a prayer for them and stuff like that so there's lots of different little things but anyway so I'm gonna start this spirit bike for my friend so the first thing I'm gonna do is I got some some holy dirt okay so this dirt is from holy land not holy land, holy land but holy ground Okay, it's not from like a uh, holy land place. It's just holy ground, right? So I'm gonna take a spoon of this. And these, I'm gonna just show you the basic, um, the basic stuff for the bike. And then from there on, you're gonna experiment on your own. You add what you want and do what you want. But I always start with um, having holy ground. And I thank Mother Earth. So I say, Mother Earth, thank you for all that you do and for having us here to live here, to have this place to live. Oh, my light went out. And so I add this for my friend so that you will help my friend heal. And I put it in the bag, you see? And then I'll take maybe tobacco, right? So I'll open up the tobacco and I'll do the same thing. I'll take a spoon of tobacco. But you don't have to use tobacco, you use whatever you want. But anyway, so I'm gonna use tobacco though. And I'm gonna to say to all the good spirits, I offer you this tobacco to give you energy to help my friend get better and to help heal as much as possible. 
and then I put that in there. See? And then I'm going to take some holy salt, which is basically um, uh, crushed charcoal, really fine crushed charcoal with salt. And then you pray and you bless it uh, and ask God and the guardian angels to, to bless it, make it holy. So then I take a spoon of holy salt and I say, Archangels and heavenly hosts, please help my friend get better. Please take good care of my friend and make my friend strong. Yeah, put it in there. And see, when you're doing this, don't put anything that you don't believe. If you say it, you gotta believe what you believe it, you know what I mean? Like, um, not necessarily in stone, but you have to believe it, you know what I'm saying? Like. Then I take crossroads dirt, not holy crossroads, just any crossroad dirt, okay, because spirits can vine on there. Now dark ones are normally associated with it, but in this case we're using, this, we're using crossroad dirt to allow the spirits, the good spirits only, right? So that's what you say. I ask the good spirits and good energies and the light to be able to find my friend in order to give my friend a blessing and healing energy but only the good may, may use this trail nothing else can find this trail or travel upon it you put that in there see then I'm going to take in my case mustard okay because mustard, um, it heals a lot of stuff. Uh, mustard powder is used in many remedies. It always has been. Uh, it's used for poultice. It's used for all kinds of stuff. So anyway, and it also, it's an energy-related item, right? I'll use this and I'll ask the four directions in my case and you ask whoever you want. I ask the four directions to use this mustard powder in order to help heal my friend. Use it as medicine to help fight the disease that my friend has. And in it goes. And then I'll close that up. And now, there's only two other ones that are basic. These are all basic ones that you can use, okay? Um, you can find other ones too, like uh, Pedrica would be used for an elemental fire to help um, because it's spicy, right? You know, you gotta think about these things. Anyway, And this is ginger, so I'm going to ask the animal spirits to use this ginger to help heal. Because again, ginger is a, a strong healing um, component. And because I work with fire elementals so much, <laughs> I, of course, going to use paprika. And you can use it too. You can use any, any one that you want. Okay? You're basically building a prayer bike is what you're doing. And then you just say, I asked the fire elementals, Astro, my guides, all my spirit friends to please give a hand to my earthly friend to help my friend get better. Put that in there. That's it. Now, 
all those stuff you put in there and all the prayers you put in there and all the energy you use to put in there, that all goes to your friend, you see. Then you take it. Oh, wait, I want to add one more thing. I use rock salt to keep anything negative, anything harmful, anything that would hinder my friend's recovery. This will keep it away and allow the good at full access. And there, now I'm done. Oops. I was done, but now I got to pick the lid up. There you go. Whew. It does take energy to do this, by the way. <laughs> so then, once you've done that, you fold it. Like this. And just give it a good seal, right? And then, as you pray, I'm going to say my chant because my chant is um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the animals, like all my belief system is in my chant. So I just go say, say, Amen. And basically my prayers are, uh, what that means is, uh, Dear Father, Creator God, Son, Jesus, the host of angels, guardian angels and archangels, the elementals, the four directions, the four colors, the animal spirits, my spirits and my guides, please help my friend heal. That's basically what my prayer is. That's that's basically what that is. Okay, um, it's just a lot easier uh, for me to to think it through as I'm saying my thing. So that's what I'm thinking in my head as I'm as I'm saying my chant. So, anyway, the last step, which I can't show you, um, is you write the name of the person on here. Okay. And then you put it in a in a, on a shelf or someplace with the name out so you can see it. And it's got to be someplace you walk by constantly. And whenever you say the name, just stop for a minute and just thank the spirits. You know, thank thank you, Lord. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Thank you, you know, whoever whoever you believe in. Um, thank you for helping my friend. I really appreciate what you're doing for them. All right, and that's it. Now. Myself, because I've got, I know how to do it, basically, um, I add herbs every day to, for my friend until I know my friend's feeling better, okay? And it's different herbs all the time, um, but you can, you can research that yourself, you know, look up, like, what herbs are good for what thing, what do they do, what are their strengths, you know, stuff like that, and just keep putting stuff in the bag as you go along. Uh, or get in touch with somebody else who knows. There's so many of uh, the uh, of us on here uh, that would probably probably give you some good ideas of what might you might want to put in the bag. So you know, check it out, stuff like that. The more you do for the bag, the more it helps your friend, right? Anyway, uh, kind of a kind of a strange. So you want to be a paranormal investigator, but. Uh, to me, I mean, this should be common knowledge uh, for anybody that's in the spirit uh, business, you know, working with spirits and, and investigating. You should have a basic knowledge of how to help people and uh, how to protect yourself. So that's why I'm doing this series, to give you ideas of ways to protect yourself, to cleanse yourself, get rid of attachments, help get rid of your friend's attachments, help heal yourself, things like that, okay? So anyway... This is what's called a healing bag, okay? Or you can call it a healing circle. That's another name for it. And you, once you do it, you just put it up and that's it, all right? Okay, so blessings to all, all right? And remember now, take care of yourselves, take care of your friends, watch out for ghosts, <laughs> and have a good night. <laughs>